हाई गाइज वेलकम टू कोडा टीजन लैब दिस वीडियो नंबर थर्टी थ्री फॉर मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रियक्ट जे एस सो एज यू नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द ए पी आई वर्किंग एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव वर्कड ऑन द ऑल प्रोडक्ट पेज राइट सो दिस डेटा इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस राइट सो यू नीड टू जस्ट रिमेंबर वन थिंग योर सर्वर शुड बी रनिंग एंड ऑफकोर्स यू विल रन द uh you will run the react app okay so let's open the api part where we have our products okay so this is showing product only one because i have settled the pagination in the project level setting page size one right and today before this today i am going to i am going to talk about the pagination we will implement the pagination right so django rest framework provides us uh three to four type of pagination limit offset page number cursor and custom pagination right so here we have a documentation i'll provide the link in the description so you you can learn so we will implement the uh, page number pagination right so we will implement the page number pagination so whenever we click on this two then it will fetch the data according to the limit suppose we have set the limit one so it means it will fetch only one data from the server right it will show only one data when we click on the two it will then it will show the uh, second number data right three third number data so this is kind of links it means at page 1 how many data you want to show so this is the page size that how many data you want to show on the first page or the second page or the third page right so we will implement this so first of all rest framework then default pagination class page number pagination then the page size is i have settled one because i don't have so many datas right so if i set this 10 so see this see this here it is providing the next okay because we are on the data one so it's not providing the previous if i refresh this here then here you can see that next previous null because we already have two data and both are showing here okay so let's make it one right now it is showing data 1 if i if i make it 10 then it will show two data right but now let's make it one so that we can implement our pagination okay so if you want to show the second data then you have to pass the page query parameter okay so uh, you can change also the query parameter uh, you can read the documentation they are providing the uh lots of attributes where you can change the uh you know parameter right so <clears throat> all right so i have provided page size 1 and default pagination set the class page number pagination all right okay now we need to we need to do this as a we need to make it working okay so how we can make it working so before make it working let's uh, let me show you what we will do here we will first of all we need to create links okay and how we can create links so they are providing the total counting okay so they are providing the total counting so from this count we can make the links right so we can make the links okay so let's uh, create the so here we are constant and this is total result set total results equal to use state okay and uh, let's make it by default let's make it by default i'm say zero okay and when we are fetching the data then we will set this result right so set this result data dot count so this is the total result if you want to show then you can see here if i print this then this will show the data okay here you can see that this is showing two now we need to create the links okay so how we can create the links so for creating the links what i will do after setting the data here i will implement Uh, let's say constant links equal to 
एम टी और मोर सुटेबल वेरिएबल इक्वल टू एम टी राइट एंड देन वी हैव फोर लेट आई इक्वल टू वन ओके लेट इज अ की वर्ड वेयर यू कैन डिफाइन द ब्लॉक लेवल वेरिएबल ओके सो लेस देन इक्वल टू लेस देन इक्वल टू टोटल रिजल्ट राइट सो टोटल रिजल्ट एंड देन i प्लस प्लस वी डोंट नीड टू मेक इट लेट दिस शुड बी आई और राइट नाउ दिस शुड बी लिंक प्लस इक्वल टू वी आर कंकैडनेटिंग द थिंग्स ओके so what we will do here or more or more we can do this kind of thing links dot push right and then we will push here this thing right and then here we will add our variable i and we need to define okay let's make this working let's make it here links okay so it's working so one and two okay because we have only two things now we need to define the link so this will be two right and then in the two we have first of all we'll say uh products slash page equal to dollar i right so what it will say so this is page 1 this is page 2 right so when we click on this we need to pass this url here right so what i will i will do here on click on click we need to define this url we need to we need to pass this url in the function we'll create the function and the function will be a uh, change url right and we will pass it right and then let's create this function okay and this function will be we are passing here the base url right the base url then we have to create this thing okay so let's see base url set base url and by default the base url will be this thing okay and here we are passing the base url and now in this we will set this base url okay so what it will be base url okay so we are setting the base url whenever we are changing something in the state then use effect will call right so let's see that uh, it should work let's see here all right so where it is one minute all right so we are seeing here okay something is uh, different what it is uh base url everything is working uh uh so fetch data set base url this is the user state and uh let's see okay so this pagination is not working because if you see this in console if you see this base url whatever the base url we are passing here if you see this in console then you will found that we are passing only this one but we need to pass the whole result so what i will do uh, let's say constant base url equal to we will copy this and paste it here right and then this base url this base url plus products let's remove this also this base url plus products right so this base url <coughs> plus products so now we will do this 
here also base url and now it should work now right so now if we click on the two then here you can see that it is passing here right and then uh, we need to call this function right so let's call this function uh, no need to set this one right because we are directly passing here the data so let's call this function where we are passing the data so what it is base url uh, change url is saying here uh, this is the uh, base url okay why this is saying it fetch data this is base url change url okay so let's see base url is not defined why one minute oh understood we need to we need to define this let's make it actually this is not defined so fetch data base url oh we need to small u the difference is small u all right now if i go here now what it is saying products is undefined uh, base url this is the base url by default we will say it by default we will say it products right so now let's see so by default it is showing a single data and when we click on the two then it is changing the data here you can see that right so it means everything is working we have worked on the pagination so what we have changed we have added the uh, we have added the default pagination class that is page number pagination you can adjust the page size in the all products we have added the pagination with the help of some states and function and the on click event we are changing the url right later when when our data increase we will change the page size right so i hope uh, you understood all the things if you have any query any doubt then please ask me in the comment section i will try to help you as much as i can right and uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe right and this is my website please check out this website and uh, you can download project you can download the django projects for your practice okay so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please have a look on this website and uh, this is big support for me if you download anything from here okay thank you so much please like this and share this thank you